हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू अनादर वीडियो इन द प्रोडिक्टिंग विथ माइंड डी बी सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी प्रोडिक्टिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ टोयोटा कार्स यूजिंग माइंड डी बी सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड To complete this tutorial, we'll be using MindsDB Cloud. So if you don't have an account, then you can check my video on how you can sign up. The link is in the description. So once you are signed up and you have logged into your account, you will land up in the MindsDB Cloud console, which looks something like this. So here you can see three main sections. The top one is the query editor where we write the queries, and the bottom panel shows the results. So it is the result viewer, and towards the right we have the learning hub. where you can find resources to get started with minds tv so the first thing we want to do is uh, import some data into minds tv so that we can feed it to the model to train so this is the data set i am using toyota used car listing uh, the download link for this data set is already available in the description you can download it from there and i have already downloaded it and it is available in my local machine so once you have downloaded it we, you are ready to import it and use it as a table So now what we want to do is add this data right so i will click on this add data and here you can see an amazing list of database integrations that are supported by minds db but for now i will click on this files and then i will click on import file and i will click on this import a file now and i will select this csv file that i have downloaded which is toyota i'll say open and then the table name also i'll give the same as toyota and i'll save it So now it says the file is uploaded and we have two sample queries over here. So the first query will return us the list of tables so that we can check whether the table is present or not and the other one will fetch us some data records from the table. So let us execute it one by one. And the first one here it returns the list of tables and we have the table Toyota present. And the, for the next one let us execute it and here also we got the data records from the table. so we are good to go with the data set the next thing we want to do is create a predictor model so minds db provides create predictor statement that we can use to create and train a predictor model so the statement looks something like this create predictor followed by minds db dot name of the predictor i'll say toyota predictor then from database name of the table so it will be from files then we need to say which columns we want to provide for training i will say select star i want to provide all the columns from name of the table which is toyota then we will say limit 10000 so in the free version of minds db only 10000 rows are allowed Uh, if the data set contains more than 10000 rows then the query will error out so we don't want that to happen that's why we have uh, applied this limit 10000 here in the select statement so the next thing what we want to do we want to say predict the target value which is price so this is how the create predictor statement looks like create predictor followed by minds db dot name of the predictor from database name then select star from name of the table limit 10000 then predict the target value column so now we will execute this one and it says the query has successfully completed so it takes a while for the model to be up and running me in the meanwhile we can check the status the query for that will be select status from mindsdb dot predictors so each and every predictor model that we train it stays inside the predictors table as a row record so we are fetching it from there then we'll say where name equals name of the predictor model so i'll copy it from here and i will paste it here and we will run this one to fetch the status now so the current status is training so you can expect three kinds of status uh, while you are fetching the predictor model status in this statement so the first one is generating then the next one is training and finally when the model is ready 
the status will be complete so now you have to wait until the status becomes complete okay so the status is complete now so the model is ready to do the predictions but before we move to the predictions part let us try to understand a few details about our model in order to do that mindsdb provides us with uh, three kinds of describe statements that provides three kinds of details about the predictor that we just trained so let us execute them one by one and check on the results that we see so the first one is to describe it by features so the query will look something like this describe mindsdb dot name of the predictor model dot features so this query shows the role of each column for the predictor model along with the type of encoders used on them while training so let us execute this one and fetch the results so as you can see here we have the column names listed here and the type of data they store and the encoders used on each of them and finally the role that they play so here oh, we are predicting the price right so as you can see here price serves as the target for the predictor model and rest every column in this list serves as the feature set so the next thing is to describe it by model so i'll copy this query and i'll paste it below and I'll simply change the features to model. So this query shows the list of all the underlying candidate models that are used during training. The one with the best performance that is whose value is closer to one is selected. You can see the value one for the selected one in the selected column while others are set at zero. So let us execute this one and fetch the results. So as you can see, these are the three underlying candidate models that were used during training. And out of this three, the light GPM had the best performance value 0 0.973, which is uh, higher than the other two. And then the training time was also less compared uh, to the neural. So finally, this is selected. That's why one is set in the selected column and rest all are set at zero. So this is the underlying model and that will be used for this predictor. So the next one is by ensemble. So I will paste the same one and I will change this to ensemble now. So this query gives back a JSON output that contains the different parameters that ultimately help to choose the best candidate model for the predictor. So let us execute this one and fetch the results once again. So as I told you just now, so this returned a JSON output now uh, with the list of all the parameters that helped it to choose the best underlying candidate model. So these are the three kinds of describe statements that we can use to learn more about the predictor models. So now it's time to do the predictions. So before we predict, uh, let us execute the select statement so that we can have a view of the table and the available columns. So now let us write the uh, prediction statement. So it will be a simple select price from mindsdb dot name of the predictor, which will be Toyota predictor. I'll copy it and I'll paste it below. Then I'll say where uh, suppose model equals on GT86 then I'll say and mileage equals suppose I'll say something like 13,455 then I'll say and uh, fuel type equals say diesel so let us use the value of these three uh, features here and try to predict the price so i will simply run this query now so as you can see the price for this model gt86 with mileage this much and fuel type uh, diesel uh, is 5507 usd so now what we want to do uh, we want to uh, 
write another select and we will say again price also we can fetch the price underscore explain so this column will have a json output uh, which will hold the predicted value and the confidence value the truth and null values and also the probability classes so we'll say from minds db Toyota predictor where uh, we will run the select file again to check some other model so there is another model which is Corolla so I'll say where model equals Corolla and year equals 2019 and world type equals patrol and I'll say the engine size equals 1.7 so let us try to predict for this one as well so as you can see the price returned for this one is 24,284 USD and in the price explain column we have the JSON of the predicted value confidence anomaly truth and the confidence lower bound and upper bounds so we are successfully able to predict the prices of Toyota cars in this tutorial video so that's all for this one and I hope you had a great time watching it. So drop a like, subscribe to the channel and do share it with your friends. And before you leave, don't forget to drop a GitHub star on the Minds TV repository. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.